Now to something that you've picked up on, uh, Jack, uh, something else that uh, one ABC host last night somehow failed to admit. Now that host is Paul Barry, he's from the ABC's Media Watch, of course. He last night did admit that our Sherry Markson had been right all along and her critics on The Age newspaper wrong. Sherry reported the CEO of Lark, uh, Jeff Bainbridge, had been videoed smoking crack. Here he is. Just give a high together, babe. You'd be just like, oh, it would be so hot. You're all dead. I'd smoke meth and just blow it all over your throat. But, but then a reporter on The Age, Chip Legrand, well, he bought Bainbridge's excuse or story or lie, whatever you want to take it, and wrote in the age that Bainbridge had actually been set up by criminals in Thailand who threatened to release this, in, this compromising video to Australian media outlets like mm -hmm, Sherry Markson if he didn't cough up. Um, Bainbridge claimed, and, and Chip Legrand reported like fact in the age, that he wasn't a nice user and these criminals had just drugged and filmed him in Thailand. But the thing is, as the Herald Sun found out from a real estate ad, Bainbridge's home in Melbourne has a distinctive light shade that, hello, is the exact match of one you see in the drug video. And Paul Barry did have to say, well, look, the Age newspaper had been bad boys. Clearly, Bainbridge had lied and Legrand had been taken for a ride. So, presumably, he then apologised. Well, no. Instead, he published a news story saying the age had been misled, but avoiding the words, sorry, I was fooled, or I should have checked. Now, so far, so good. But, Jack, you picked up something that Paul Barry forgot to add. Well, I, I thought a man with such attention to detail, such as Paul Barry, would not have missed the <laughs> fact that he himself tweeted out the fake news article that Chip Legrand published. He spread the misinformation out there into the ecosystem of social media. I, I believe it had a caption, you know, geez, what a, what a story. What a story indeed. It's, it's now been deleted. And, and that link that Paul Barry tweets out is a dead link. It goes nowhere because the story's been retracted because it was false. And Paul Barry, you played a role in sharing that misinformation and then you did a big editorial about how irresponsible the journalists were, knowing that you shared it out and you didn't tell your audience. I find that quite pathetic and I don't think that that's acceptable and I think that you owe your viewers and Shari Markson an apology. Too true. 